great day, 20 years hence. Yeah. Okay, 3.45 p.m., great time. And uh, we all got it right. <laughs> so uh, uh, it's it's been a great journey. It's been very good, and uh, Pokhran is a is something which is close to every Indian's heart. It's right. a true story. Right. To bring it on screen, uh, kudos to John to to put it together, get it off, and get it off properly. Yeah, this this film actually, if you see my filmography, I've been making comedies, and so when this idea came, actually John called me. Uh, to pitch a script, which was a comedy, ob obviously, <laughs> you know, so he said, I want you to do this comedy, and uh, I read the script, also thinking that maybe, you know, I'll, I'll do it, but then when I met John, uh, this story was there with me for a while, yeah. and sometimes you become, uh, you know, a prisoner of your own image, just say, bolte na ki, jaise dunia aapko dekhti, aap khud ko dekhne lagte hain. So I was keeping it in the, you know, I was keeping it in the backlog, and then when I met John, I thought that this uh, story could, could be told with him as this main character, Ashwat. I was thinking about it, but actually, no, I'll just be nice. Uh, no, he's, he's exceptional. I mean, I feel like he has such clarity in terms of what he wants mm. and, um, you know, in terms of his content as well, uh, which is why I was really happy when I got a call from him asking me whether I'd like to be part of this film. Mm. And it's, it's just a, a subject that, as Indians, I mean, every one of us ought to watch it just to know uh, what happened and yes. how we became a, a nuclear state. And uh, so I, from that point of view as well, wanted to be part of this film in whatever small way I could, you know, even if it was just a little bit, but I just wanted to, to be there and, and to be able to tell the story. Yeah. And uh, today when I, when I watched the trailer, I got, I got goosebumps. Mm -hmm. So the first time I'm seeing it complete, okay. I mean, I've seen a rough cut, but I've not seen it with everything put together. And it was just, yeah, I felt really good about it. So Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, guys. Why did you do it? Why did you keep it? So, uh, I mean, we are here finally, uh, the producers are here, everybody is here. Uh, it took us a bit of time, but um, I think everything happens for the best. And I think uh, we want to bring positivity around the film. Uh, we want to speak about the good things about the film. Uh, we are not here to throw mud in anybody's face, so we want to keep it clean. And uh, we want to speak about the credibility of uh, everybody attached to this film. And. Uh, just one thing I'd like to say is that, uh, and for a lot of people here who are, who are pretty young, and uh, some of you who are probably Dinah's age also, you know, so, <laughs> so anyway, um, I think um, the reason why today India's cool, and every Indian feels he's cool, and every youngster feels that India's a cool nation, is because of what happened in Pokhran in 1998, on the 11th of May at 3.45. It's it's a it's a it's a history defining moment for India, and uh, I give the entire credit of conceptualizing this to, of course, Abhishek, because without the director, you cannot make. He's the captain of the ship. He's made a fantastic film, and of course, uh, my screenplay writer and my dialogue writer, and my dialogue writer also happens to be the creative head of J Entertainment. So I'm lucky. So. <laughs> Um, I think uh, the entire credit goes there, and Abhishek, you've, uh, I think it's too early to say that we've made a good film, but we hope Thank we you. made a fantastic film that all of you will enjoy.